Hey guys, Nick4711 here with another Minecraft invention. Today's invention is an overworld gold farm. Or, if you want to call it that, you can also call it a zombie pigmen farm. So, it's pretty simple. We have all these zombie pigmen here in this 2x1 area. And if you flip the kill switch, you'll see most of them get killed. Just like that. Got that one who jumped up just at the right time. Lucky bastard. Alright, so let's close that again. Watch them all die. And gone. Alright. So, let's pick all that up. Yeah. Alright, so, in total, those were 20 pigmen. Um... I know that because there's a 50% chance of a pigman dropping a gold nugget. I have 10 gold nuggets, which means most likely that was 20. Um, that took about 50 or so minutes, though, to get 20 pigmen. So as you can see, it's not a very efficient farm. Um, actually, back when the farm only had 68 portals, I got 4 spawns in 10 minutes. I did the math, and that would mean if you only had 1 pro portal in your world, which I would assume most of you do, get 4 spawns from that portal every 680 minutes, and then 1 spawn every 170 minutes. So, now that you know what happens, I will show you how it works. And it is actually... Let me just do that. It's actually very very simple. You can actually see a pigman right here just coming out. So I'll use him as an example. So the pigman spawns out of one of these portals. I have seven rows of 17 portals, which comes out to be, a, I think, 119 portals that I have here. So the way it works is there are two eight long water channels that the pig makes its journey down. Eventually it'll get stuck under each portal between jumps and will soon make its way down here so I will fast forward this until he gets to the next stage and yeah I'll explain more then all right so we got him here next he falls down to this part right here where if they fall down over there they'll get brought over here next they get brought up these stairs right here make it all the way over here and then are dropped down into that area right there. It is a four block drop, which means they do take some damage, but it shouldn't really be a problem. So, let's get out of here now. Oh, nope, not to the nether. And make our way back over here. For some reason, I do get a lot of lag when moving my way over to all those portals and then leaving them again. Which is pretty weird, but I guess I can get used to it. So anyway... Um, if we break out back here, you see a bit of redstone for the kill switch, but it's actually extremely simple. Um, so here we have three glass blocks, and they once if they are in this closer spot here, you'll see that there is a glass block there, so they actually can't jump up there. So they are stuck. If you look over here at the kill switch, it is... Just break it, oh no. Um, it is two by three sticky pistons that would push the pigmen. So all these stone blocks here, you see, push this way. The water source is back there, uh, one block away, so that it does not get turned off when the pistons extend. And it is there so that when pigmen die in the back half of this crusher, the items still get brought to me and you can pick them up when you are over here. The reason I have glowstone here is that when the monsters spawn at night, they can spawn on top of the portals, which you may want. Um, you may want extra spawns to be around here. However, I don't. I'm not one for that. So I have glowstone there to make it a pigment only farm. Also, this could be expanded as much as you want that way. And if you had the height here, it could be expanded left and right as well. The reason you see glowstone here and here is because this is in a winter biome, uh, sadly. Monkey Farms slab world sometimes goes into a winter biome, which is fine. Uh, it just means that the water source blocks will freeze up. Now, I'd love to hear from you guys how this could be perfected. How could it be made better? How could the spawn rates be brought up? All of that kind of stuff. 
So if you have any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments, either here or on the Reddit post. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.